Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa welcomed the decision by the Cabinet of Saudi Arabia, chaired by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to establish coordination between Saudi Arabia and Bahrain on the level of their respective crown princes. His Majesty affirmed the deep-rooted bilateral relations, which are based on foundations of fraternity and mutual understanding by various pre predecessors. He said that the bilateral relations continue to experience further support in all fields. For his part, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa renewed support for the vision of His Majesty the King to further deepen the relationship with Saudi Arabia through the establishment of a joint Bahraini-Saudi Coordination Council. He said that this step will further enhance the bilateral ties in all fields for both countries and people to meet the aspirations of all and bring about a bright future. He affirmed the support of His Majesty the King and King Salman for all efforts that further support the bilateral ties. His Royal Highness also praised the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, and Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud to further enhance the bilateral ties. He looked forward to further achievements as a result of Bahraini-Saudi cooperation in all fields for the benefit of both countries and people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Talman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Crown Prince of Kuwait, Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, and extended his best wishes to Sheikh Mish'al on being named the Crown Prince by the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished Sheikh Mish'al success and Kuwait further progress and prosperity. He highlighted the deep-rooted bilateral relations and said he looks forward to advancing these ties to the benefit of both countries and their people. Several reactions have emerged that have welcomed Saudi Arabia's cabinet's decision in consultation with its Bahraini counterpart to the decision to establish direct joint coordination between the Crown Princes of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fazi Yazainal, said that this step crowns a deep-rooted and constantly developing bilateral relations in order to cooperate further and added that it represents a milestone. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, said that this decision is based on the faith of His Majesty the King and the Saudi King and the special relations that connect the GCC, Arab and Islamic countries. He expressed congratulations to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for this important milestone. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif al Rashid al Zayani, described the decision as an important step that is bound to strengthen the bilateral ties in the interest of the two countries and people. The Minister of Finance and National Economy affirmed that this step will further develop the bilateral ties as they represent an exceptional case in international affairs. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, said that the decision builds new bridges between the two countries in all fields. The Minister of Information, Ali Rumehi, also welcomed the decision, which he said underlines the special relations between the two countries as it opens the path towards further cooperation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, signed with the regional representative at the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Khalid Khalifa, through video call, a memorandum of understanding between the government of Bahrain and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees regarding the exchange of information for refugees and asylum seekers. The signing was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The minister held the cooperation between the Kingdom and the United Nations and its specialized agencies in achieving the goals of the international organization, noting the support provided by the United Nations to the projects and programs implemented by the Kingdom of Bahrain, especially in the field of achieving the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. He also commended the signing of the MOU, which serves the goals of both sides to provide aid and support to refugees in the countries of the Middle East region. Khalid Khalifa expressed his appreciation for the strategic partnership between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the United Nations, noting that signing this MOU is a clear evidence of the positive cooperation between the two sides, which will contribute to promoting the Commissioner's efforts and providing aid and support to all refugees in the region. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, participated in the sixth meeting of the Labor Ministers of the GCC countries, which was held virtually and was chaired by the UAE Minister of Human Resources and Emiratization, Nasser Al Hamli. The meeting discussed various matters of mutual interest, including job opportunities, the easing of movement of labor across the GCC, the achievement of equal treatment for GCC citizens, and reforming various fields, including education, labor affairs, and creating job opportunities. 
Hamidan affirmed Bahrain's support for joint GCC cooperation and outlined Bahrain's efforts in achieving equal treatment of GCC citizens in the public and private sectors. He also discussed Bahrain's efforts to combat the effects of the pandemic, including measures to safeguard the stability of the labor market, the payment of salaries of citizens, and the role of the pension fund in supporting the government's policies. He also praised the efforts of Saudi Arabia in support of GCC cooperation and underlined the importance of exchanging expertise, the protection of workers from the pandemic, and the application of international health standards. The National Task Force to combat the coronavirus held a press conference today to discuss the recent developments related to COVID-19. The Undersecretary for the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Al-Mana, praised the responsibility of the community, which resulted in curbing the spread of the virus and affirmed the importance of continuing on this approach to protect everyone. He urged to continue wearing face masks when going out and only go out if necessary. He also urged everyone to follow instructions and assume their national responsibility and stressed that legal actions will be taken against violators. Dr. Almana added that out of 7,642 beds in isolation centers, only 1,137 are occupied. Infectious diseases consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital, Lt. Col. Dr. Manaf al Gahtani, expressed pride in the success of the third phase of the vaccine trials with 6,000 volunteers. He added that the doors are still open for more volunteers at the Bahrain Exhibition and Conferences Center. He praised the efforts being exerted by the national team and called for intensified efforts to combat the virus. Dr. Al-Ghahtani stressed the importance of avoiding gatherings and occasions which are the root for the spread of the virus. Consultant on infectious and internal diseases at Salmaniya Medical Hospital, Dr. Jamila Salman, said that every member of the society can contribute to avoiding the spread of the virus. She stressed the importance of avoiding gatherings, including big family gatherings, in order to protect everyone. Dr. Salman affirmed the importance of following precautionary and preventive measures, apply social distancing, wear face masks, and only go out when necessary.